The undeniable Cody Rhodes is back. And ready to stake his claim on top WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rose. Boy, I will never forget the night that you and I had the opportunity to call this man's amazing return to WWE. You're right about that, Saxton, a true WrestleMania if there ever was one. Certainly an accomplished career his first time around. Well, many would say this version of Cody Rhodes is completely transformed and set to take over the main event picture of WWE. Here comes a reckoning. The Archer of Infamy, ready to pass judgment. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. No longer cares for the WWE Universe, no longer cares for the rest of the locker room because he has found his true family, and the Judgment Day is their name. He must be prepared for battle against one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. And if he is, it'll be one of the most memorable moments in his entire career. Shaking hands, center of the ring, and here we go. May the best man win. I don't expect to see any more sportsmanship after the handshake. These two don't like each other, and they're battling for the same prize. I do expect a hard-hitting matchup. This match is underway, and I have to commend them for that display of esteem between these superstars. Not just a show of respect for each other, but for the ring and everyone who stepped in it before them. Absolutely, Corey. Yeah, they're class acts. Priest setting his crosshair squarely on his opponent. Getting tossed. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. He's heading back to the ring. Up on their shoulders. Down in a hurry. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Elbow drop right on point. What the leg? Look at this. He just tossed the leg. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Damian Priest is quite the imposing opponent. Corey, how can he get the upper hand on a man that's devious? You just answered your own question, Cole. Priest is imposing, but he's still mortal. Priest's opponent will have to find that weakness and capitalize on it quickly. He's looking for safety outside the ring. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a good opportunity to recalibrate. Setting up for something here.
Jesus. Priest able to avert that. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Don't do it! Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing! I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Oh, gee, straight to the cranium. Priest wants to finish this one. This will do it. Broken arrow. Three. What a shot. He's looking a little weary now. Statement being made by Priest. Power behind every maneuver he lays in. Evades the offense. A big forearm connects. Into the barricade. Punch him in the chest. Rhodes showing his opponent how confident he is. Come on! No one likes a count out. Really pushing the limit there. As long as you're aware, use as much of the ref's count as you want. Drives them down with a burner breaker. I don't think there's any love lost here. Certainly seems that tensions are rising, Michael. I have a feeling we're only seeing the beginning, Byron. From the middle rope. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Cody Rhodes hooks him up. Jeez, Damian is really leaking from the head now. Did that finish priest off? deserves another look. Here we go. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. When you share mutual respect with your opponent, it can give you a confidence boost. It looks like that boost helped one more than the other here, though. Come on, Bob. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa. A multiple time NXT champion and has also held the NXT Tag Titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Austin Theory. All the potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too. The youngest Money in the Bank winner and also the youngest superstar to fail cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Ah, oh, shut up, Saxton. Money in the Bank was an anchor, an albatross, and Austin Theory is better having gotten rid of it. The sadistic and vicious. 
Tommaso Ciampa. Nothing has ever seemed to cheer him up or mellow him out. Ciampa was once known as the Sicilian psychopath, and when you get a nickname like that, I don't think your personality really ever changes all that much. Yeah, there's an edge to Ciampa in the ring that I don't think can ever be dulled. Yeah, but let's not forget about Theory. Impressive beyond his years and has a knack for embarrassing his competition simply to prove how good he is. It is not enough for Theory to just prove he's the better man. He, he can't help but showboat about it. Clearly waiting for that. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Ouch. Final cut. Perfectly executed. Yes, boom, nice. That holds back Theory's attack. Left by the turnbuckles. Looking to catch him off guard. He kicks out before two. A little too soon for that cover to be effective, but he is making a statement by going for it at this point. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Picture perfect drop kick. Tommaso Ciampa is one seriously tough competitor, but every superstar has a weakness. What would be your game plan, Corey? I think Ciampa's most glaring vulnerability is the possibility of injury. Heck, he once had to vacate the NXT title due to need for surgery. I'd say focusing your attacks on Ciampa's limbs could clear a path to victory. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. to the gut. Disheartening situation for the Blackheart. This is good stuff. Targeting attacks to the limbs to hopefully flare up one of Champa's old injuries. He's been placed in the corner now. There's a slingshot into the drop kick. And that move looked to throw Champ off his game. Yeah, Theory's showing he's wise beyond his years with that offensive display. You can see as he rises how vulnerable from way up to the last handle. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Able to reverse. Tommaso was getting grinded down, but it might have just made him stronger. You know, guys, I didn't think much of this, but the animosity is really starting to grow here. Right now, I think they're just not seeing eye to eye, Michael. And Tommaso looking to deliver. Project Champa. Is it enough? The cover. No, stops the count at two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Oh, Tommaso Champa with a Willow's Bell. Does Theory have any fight left? Cover. The superstar enjoying his victory. And the loser of this match offering a handshake. How about that? The winner oh. has uh, no interest. I beat oh. you. Get out of my ring. Okay, how, how hard would it have been just to shake the man's hand? Because it's not about feeling, Saxon. It's about victory. It's about winning and staying on top at all costs. Oh, a little show of sportsmanship here. I like this. Psych. <laughs> oh, that's oh, out there. They kind of had it coming.
They should have known better than to take the bait. Obviously, a total lack of respect between these two. Tensions incredibly high. Match up man, as we just saw, there's obviously a lack of respect between these competitors. This business is just as mental as it is physical. So, of course, they try to get in their opponent's head up top. Yeah, but hopefully they can focus on the match at hand moving forward. Because when things get too personal, they can get very dangerous. She's holding on tight. Wearing down that shoulder there. Cover, cover. And the referee stops the count before two. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Got their opponent set up. Oh, drop kick to the spine. Discouraging results for Ripley right here. There is no scorn like that of an angry goddess. She flips it back on her. Coming back in the ring. Oh, straight forearm. Mounting a downed opponent. Look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap for the exclamation point. or at the very least, a pinched nerve. Alexa Bliss has thrown all her opponents off with her multiple personalities. How do you find a footing against her? Alexa Bliss is so crafty, but she's going in with a clear size disadvantage. Her opponent needs to overwhelm her fast and put Bliss away early. And a slap for the exclamation point. There, smart strategy. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, so confident. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Now the oop. Oh. Big drop of the leg. Looking to take flight here. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? From the top, Dummy double axe handle. Just look at the power of Rhea Ripley. Oh, oh. Devastating face buster. She thinks she has it. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Just disrespectful. Was ready for that. Elbow smash. We've seen how this all started, and it seems to escalate with each week. The coals were lit, Saxton, and those flames have been stoked. Whoa! Look out! Oh, oh man! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Two! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Three. Them aside. Four. Rhea was just a step behind there. Four. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Just unloading knees to the body. Oh, tossed her into the ring post. She's in the ring now. They were cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You could say that again. Time to get the let up. Rhea Ripley can kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. It's all over. Rhea Ripley gets it done. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action.
Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. And even if they still don't have their opponent's respect after this, at least they have something to celebrate. Well, it looks like the earlier show of disrespect really lit a fire underneath them. Oh, kind of like you and Byron, Corey. Oh, you... Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles has a trophy case filled with titles. A WWE Grand Slam champion. This man has done it all and he has absolutely no fear. There is one thing we've learned all throughout the years and that's do not bet against AJ Styles. Hey, he might not be the biggest dog, but AJ Styles has got the strongest bite. And there's no one who fights bigger bell to bell than AJ Styles. You're right, if AJ's breathing, AJ's fighting. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And his opponents, first, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. The Prince has arrived and is more lethal than ever. Hey, a sense of pure animosity to him. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Well, Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. Look at the focus in Balor's eyes. Yeah, Balor looks ready to clear the obstacle that awaits him. Well, Byron, I think Finn wants to do more than clear the obstacle. Finn looks ready to obliterate the obstacle. of WWE. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. 
Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. Triple threat matchup, and it's going to be AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and Seth Rollins. Three competitors, one fall to a win, and this is where you start to separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. offense. Oh, man, Russian leg sweep, STO. Uh-oh. Look at the suplex. No, uh -oh. no, no. Neck breaker. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spot. Finn was ready for that. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Voice up their opponent looking for the burning hammer. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Snap suplex. Very nice. That's going to hurt. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. DDT! Fight. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. And he slides him back to the mat. of the WWE Universe to let that energy fuel him. This fight has made its way to the entrance way. Oh, man, so many things can go wrong now. Serious. 
seriously hurt. Up and down, what a 
slam. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. AJ Styles just adding salt to the wound now. Into a neck breaker. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, wedges. So much could go wrong very quickly. Absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Good technique reversing Rollins. The WWE is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been an absolute war out there. These superstar efforts are not lost on this crowd. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also, plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Into a gut buster. Nice. This fight has made its way to the entrance way. Oh man, so many things can go wrong now. Oh man. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Up handle up. Uh oh. Rollins with a reversal. See, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Boom! Oh, gut buster! And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. Hits the drop kick. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. clear who the visionary is in this match. Nice hip toss. This arena can't contain them, and if history is any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Facing off at the top of the ring. I don't know what's going to happen. 
happen, but it's gonna hurt. Hits to the core like that'll render you useless. Right, it's cinched in. This could be it. Oh, boom! Small package driver. Plenty of ways to get creative. Up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Process all the action that we saw there in the triple threat match. This recap should help. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. The WWE Universe showing appreciation as all three competitors after an amazing triple threat match. I cannot even.
She is a woman who is here to take control. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, the Raw Women's Champion, Bayley. The thing I love about Bayley is every word she speaks, every action she takes, just says, I'm better than you. Well, she took the helm when she created damage control and now an all-out assault on the women's division and the WWE fans. I feel like Bailey has gone out of her way to show that she's on her own level now. All great leaders lead by example. Bailey's demonstrating and the rest of the world should be taking notes. Well, if Bailey is such a great leader, tonight she's got a chance to actually back it up. Well, here comes the corrupted superhero. You know, I often wonder, does Nikki even want to try to find the right path? Eh, probably not. And from Glasgow, Scotland, almost a superhero, Nikki A. S. H. Inspirational or Delusional. I say inspirational, motivational, impactful. How can you not be a fan of Nikki A.S.H.? Easy. She's delusional. Such a Debbie Downer. What does almost a superhero mean? It means you don't need superpowers to be a superhero. You can be a superhero by just doing the right thing, by just trying your best, Michael. So if you left the commentary desk, would that make you a superhero, Saxon? Because that's the right thing. That's a bad example, Corey. With Bailey, it's all about control, controlling the situation, controlling her own success, even controlling the entire women's division if she can. Well, Bailey is a full-on control freak as far as I'm concerned. She's a manipulator who takes what she wants by any means necessary. Yeah, Bailey demands to have things exactly to her liking and pity anyone who gets in the way of that. And you can't forget about Nikki A.S.H. Almost a superhero, but completely a superstar. All heart. All fight, no almost about it. Oh, this is not going to be pretty, or maybe it is! Wrecking ball, Hurricanrana! Good grief! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk! What the hell are you doing, Byron? Oh, and she turns it around. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Nikki A.S.H. rocked a bit there, but we can't count her out just yet. Bailey hoping to take total control by any means necessary. And that prevents Bailey's attack. Toss back into the ring. There's the takedown. I wonder, Corey, what does one have to do to get an advantage over a veteran talent like Bailey? Plain and simple, Cole, don't let up. Don't give Bailey an inch because she will steal a mile from you. Essentially, beat Bailey in her own in ring game and expect some underhanded tactics along the way. Luthers press! There's pressing. see the frustration starting to build. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Oh, direct impact to the chest. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Smart offense from Bailey as this competitor keeps battling. Placed in the corner. Oh, and Nikki manages to counter. And a bulldog to follow it up. Saw that one coming. Wow, that won't 
separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Gentlemen, suplex shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for him. Oh, we got the title. Got the title. Again. Oh, man. Just tattooing the champion. I guess statement made. Despicable. <laughs> 